The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. If you're building, or buying, or selling a home, the real estate crew's got news for you at the Real Estate House Party. With attorney Rick Carter. Real Estate House Party. Paralegal Kathy Holsthausen. Real Estate House Party. Come in, have fun. And comedian Tony V. Now, here's real estate attorney Rick Carter. Welcome and thanks for joining us here on the Real Estate House Party. We have a boatload of people in our audience. Oh, you do, you do the instruments to that, too? I'm playing the horn, yeah. <laughs> I have a soft spot, sweet spot for the horn. You wrote that jingle, didn't you? Way I helped write it. Yeah. You helped write it. I helped write it. Real I didn't do the music. house party. I yeah, love this. Threw the phone Come number. on in and <laughs> have fun. And have fun. Right. There's, they, you can't argue with any of that. No. You, no there's it's, not a it's, false statement in no, there. No, no, it's awesome. We're not, we're not compelling you to have fun. No, we're no, no. We're just saying if you'd like to. It's suggestive. Come on in. Come on in. And have and, fun. Yeah. And then you yeah. be the judge. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Dan's saying Make today, I am not well, sure I'm not having fun at all Dan's right now. Can man. I do a can I do a shout out to Paul my friend Paula's mom who thinks our show is hysterical? You, so, all right. Does she's Paula's right, mom have a name? Gail. Thank you, Gail. Can we shout <laughs> out to Frederick? Can we shout out to our newest listener, Scott Carter, who listens all the time? Hey, Scotty, how are and you? And wants to know when Town Two is coming out. Wait a second. I'll, I'll, I'll get right on that. Okay. Wait a second. And then you got a shout out to all. I have I have fans. I know you got to actually introduce your a, fans there. I yeah. know we have. Can you see them in the crowd? Of course. I, Where I, are they? I got the fans. Good, can you I wave? Got them good seats. All right. Oh, Shout. you did get great yeah. seats. You must know some people there. <laughs> and and don't forget Knuckles. No. Are you no, kidding me? No. You got to be nice. Gary. To Knuckles. Oh, it's Gary. 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 He's our Gary. barista. Things. He could he could put his fist right through your sternum. Yep. yep. And yep. open a doorknob on the other side. Yep. <laughs> He could, he actually. Could. And he makes the best cup of coffee yeah. I've ever wow. had. Yeah. Are you just saying that because of point number one? <laughs> <laughs> well, I did do, do it in a specific order, if you, if you know. If but you we, know, we should know. also shout out to our, our, ga- our we newest deal, ga- guest. Dan yes. from Piece by Piece Moving Company, Thank right? Thank you for having I me. Love Absolutely. It. And we're going to start negotiating a better better spread for you there. He's 30%. We're going to work on that. Oh, yeah. Go. yeah. Don't talk to Tone Tall's roommate, the part owner. <laughs> part part owner. Yeah. Part owner. So, so I actually am so excited that you're here with us today. This is our first mover that we've ever had on. He's right? a mover and shaker. And a shaker. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate oh. you coming on because we do have a lot of questions. Because in our world, you're probably going to get right to it. I'm going to get right to it. This, this is our problem in our world. People buy and sell on the same day. Mm-hmm. And they want to save what they think is thousands of dollars by not storing stuff the night before. You have a special today for just the real estate house party, people. <laughs> Absolutely. So, Don't close on the same day. <laughs> well, you always close it on the same day. Right there. But you certainly want to leave the day before. Um, walkthroughs happen. Things need to happen. Yeah. And um, Anything that could pop up last minute, you don't want to be dealing with those things in real time. So you move out the day before, you broom sweep the place, and then you go to the closings the next day, where you then deliver the items in the afternoon the following day. So, so you have yeah. a truck that you're going to move everything We have many out. trucks. Oh, my okay. God. He's then big time. No, but listen. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So wait, wait, wait. He store. rents a U-Haul. <laughs> Can you just? I'm How just many trucks to do it. you have? We own 22 trucks. That's a yeah. t- lot, That's a of, lot trucks. of trucks. Yeah. So yeah. you, so you give up a truck for me? I'm moving. That's correct. And then, all right. So people don't understand that. I, I think a lot of people do not understand that, or they don't like the dollar value that goes along with that. Yeah. So it's only an extra $150 to hold oh. the things on the trucks overnight. Only for real estate house pot That's listeners, right? right? Yeah. There's a one specifically time mentioned today. this show, <laughs> this exact time. <laughs> You know, some people. Or it's five thousand. What code dollars. should I use? Right. Yeah. <laughs> some people just a little hesitant to leave their children in a truck overnight. <laughs> do you I provide ba- babysitters? Sure. Baby sure. What around? percentage of people are uh, hesitant? What do you think? <laughs> I'd say about sixty forty. <laughs> we poke holes in yeah, those boxes. They drill, they, you know. they drill holes in the truck. <laughs> sure, it's fine. That brings the average up a little bit they more, leave, right? They leave water. <laughs> you know, people ask us for all sorts of interesting things, but we take care of plants and take those off trucks do you? people sometimes yeah yeah things like that i'll have one in my office that I, people yes in your office no <laughs> plants they're plants oh, plants plants so, yes what's, they the, are, what's the weirdest thing you had to move oh, <laughs> i mean we get asked all different things we had to move four of us moved a uh kiln a glass blowing kiln it's about 
it's a cylinder that's of seven cement. feet. Yeah. Right. And we only had to move it like 20 feet to a loading dock, and it took about three hours to just oh, like cause it's get this thing. So gentle. You have to be so gentle it's, with it. It's, 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 it's as tall as me. It's as wide as me. And it's like, yeah, cement. It's or, cement. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a, a crypt. Yeah, it's like a crypt. Yeah, right. exactly. Yes. So, so that was an interesting one. Do you guys mo- do you guys pack people up yes. as part of your service? So yeah, absolutely. T- tell me about that. So our guys are professional packers. I think the one thing that people get in over their head on when they are moving is not being able to pack themselves, not being able to commit the time to um, get everything boxed up and ready to go. So we can come out the day before, facilitate all that. So everything tell, tell, goes Just give me an example day. of that because yeah. I can't even imagine that. Like when I just moved a couple of years ago and yeah. I just started throwing stuff in boxes and sure. labeling it like kitchen. Yeah. You know, who of knows course. what was in that but box. But people don't start that early enough in the process. Some people think, oh, well, I'm moving in a week. So, they're so overwhelmed with other things that Correct. Right. the moving – they think that they can do a dining room in a in an hour. Yeah. When in actuality, a dining room probably takes more than an hour because yeah. you got to wrap all the china so you think and the they crystal. Should, and they the, almost should set out goals when they start. In a, you know, here's here's the room I'm going to do in week ten. So yeah. here's the one I'm going to do in week nine. Well, it's like me when I'm trying to redo my bathroom or paint it. You go to Home Depot seven different times. You don't have the stuff that you need. So it's like all these different added layers of steps where when we show up, we have everything in hand and we but make it But do you empty drawers? And we, how do you do that? Anything non-breakable stays in drawers. So dressers stay full. Anything like that can you stay full. Oh, so you can take all your yeah, we, shit with you? Yes. <laughs> we put moving blankets on it, shrink wrap them tight and go. So But wow, sometimes I'll talk to great. people when they've already packed all that stuff up already. And so it's like anything and you just start on your own and you don't call somebody that knows what's going on. You're going to end up adding time and effort that you don't need to do. I believe that people don't realize how much shit they own. I agree with that. (laughs) I agree with you. Like if I had to move like now, I I mean, you know, I just the basement, just someone's basement alone is half a day. How long have you been somewhere? Right. Yeah. That's a question I've always asked. How long have you been somewhere? 25 years. You're screwed. (laughs) Yeah. You need... Six months to get that place really ready to go. I mean, yeah. it's just so much stuff that can accumulate in a basement or a garage that you need to basically throw out. Right. You don't want to pay to move anything like so that. So do you, that you counsel them a little bit? Like if they, if I call you and say, listen, I want to move January 2nd. Yeah. You're going to tell me, listen, Kathy, you need to go down in your basement and start throwing stuff away. Like you counsel them, give them... Like 10 tips on what to oh, do absolutely. to get ready for you to show up. Dan, you don't want to know what's in Kathy's basement. <laughs> hey, too. hey, hey. There's hey. a lot of stuff down there that, <laughs> oh, yeah. that the movers aren't going to want to yeah. see down there. Yeah. No, yeah. One thing came some up. Severed heads? Or? <laughs> no, some might wiggle at the end of a pitchfork. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> you ever had that? We uh, have to move. Uh, we've heard of this where people go in to do their walkthrough. Yeah. Or, or when they're right about to buy the house and they go in, there's reptiles all caged downstairs. No, <laughs> I have not bumped up against caged reptiles in basement. They probably take them with them yeah. in the car. With yeah. Them when yeah, they, they probably have a reptile mover. Yeah, yeah a reptile special. mover. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We don't special move reptiles. reptiles. It's a specialty, huh? Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, so, they, could, they could get there on this. You could just leave crumbs. Yeah. They, they'll, they'll walk right to your new house. <laughs> So reptiles are way smarter than you give them credit for. <laughs> yeah, they You're are. You're an idea yeah. guy, aren't you? I'm always coming up with You're ideas. You're always coming up with ideas. Yeah, I can so. help. You should start a junk removal uh, company, too. So we do things one-offs. You know, somebody's p- pitching a sofa. We'll, we have dumpsters, and we can do that kind of stuff. Right. We don't do... Full scale, you'll get at, rid of everything. Yeah, but I'm saying you should. I should. Yeah. You should. You already got the trucks. Yeah, this keeps us busy. Yeah, yeah that's what the I was moving. Thinking. Yeah, the moving does well, absolutely. The junk removal is is it's you got to have certain places where you're getting rid of it. Oh, right. yeah. The only difference I see there is, um, you know, it's more of a ubiquitous thing. People aren't as concerned when they're pitching junk, who's touching it, and whatever. You know, we're more designed to be in people's homes that have an investment in the condition of the yeah, home, yeah. the condition of the furniture, and make sure that well, everything Well, right, goes and then smooth. when you move it into the new house, whether it's new or it's new to them, you don't want marks all over the wall. Yes, and, I mean, you know, in a real estate transaction of tens and thousands of dollars, the last thing you want is for real estate attorneys like Rick to hold back ten thousand dollars because somebody put a dresser down the right, right, you know, right. into a wall or something. Well, like that's that. why in yeah. the purchase sale it says you have to you have to have everything out broom clean condition. There's a pet peeve of ours because they never do it. Broom clean condition five o'clock the night before the closing, and people don't always. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, well, that's the timeline. Five, five nights so the, the night before. Well, it, uh, it no, depends we, on. It that. depends on the real estate agent how they set how they set, set the it transaction up. up. But like we've had sellers say. I didn't know I was supposed to be out by closing. Like, uh, how did you know I was not at the registry of deeds with him, and, uh, he, and the buyer says, oh, by the way, uh, they left they left some stuff behind. I thought like a plant and maybe a Everything. Chair. They left everything. They left everything. <laughs> yeah. And, and just didn't realize, and the person sales says you got to have everything out of the yeah. out of the property. So what do you do in a case like that? As, as Dan, Dan record, says, you, you have to you escrow or... Uh, he's holding back some money until Yeah, they but do that it. day we were literally at the closing table and just kind of. And he was getting... the one giving us grief on closing at, at um, 10. He, he wanted it at 12 o'clock and we wanted our schedule permitted at 10 o'clock right. closing. Right. He was giving us a hard time about. Oh, yeah. Um, the time. And yeah, he yeah. hadn't even he done it. He hadn't his even. No. So diligence. I told the buyers at the end good news and bad news. Good news is. Uh, you have a fully furnished home. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bad news, you got a tenant with that. So that's a good idea, though, because uh, a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people do take the stuff out of the drawers, and but you literally uh, bubble wrap it. As long it. as it's non-breakable, we don't bubble wrap it. Like things that I'm at saying can stay in drawers are your socks, your shirts, your pants, that kind of stuff, and then you know towels, linens. Well, you should have your like pants that. on. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> pants. Anytime a move is coming over, you should have your pants on. You'd be surprised how many people answer <laughs> us in there. Uh, oh, we I'm wake not, them up. I'm not surprised <laughs> at anything. Yeah. I didn't know it was a formal event. <laughs> yeah, pants. That's how Kathy got some reduction on her hey, moving hey, fees. Hey. Yeah. The oil so, company guy came over and. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> I, he came an hour early, and I was literally like, yeah, I heard, yeah. all of a sudden I heard, hello. A, he's in my house. Oh, yeah, I'm like, Dan, I'm, that was a free tank of oil that, that, <laughs> that <laughs> month. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was like 75 years old, that poor guy, Owen. So listen, um, tell me, what, what are some items that you will not move? So we don't move propane tanks, right. contents gonna, yeah. under pressure. <laughs> and uh, firearms. Okay. Okay. Anything that's going to make the truck explode. <laughs> right. and, um, good rule. Firearms. Is that your criteria? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good rule. So, good rule. Uh, so if I'm moving my um, my my gas grill, correct. Um, I have to take the, the tank off and you'll move the grill without that's exactly the tank. Right. Pianos. Yeah. You got pianos. pianos. Oh, yeah. Pianos. Yeah. All unless the time. It, what about, unless um, it's run by propane. We moved somebody <laughs> out of Newton recently that had a piano museum in their house down to South Carolina. No. We moved over like 75 pianos, no. wow. clarinets, wow. Bas- like all this stuff. Circa, Did everything like, go well? Yeah, everything went How many perfectly. of the pianos were all right at, at the end of the 75? <laughs> all of them. Okay, good answer, yeah. good answer. Because I actually <laughs> think that piano moving is a, um, there's that's something that's to it, right? There's, it's not just any mover can move a piano. Uh, I, I don't believe so. You need uh, certain equipment, first right, of all, to right. make it easy and just the experience. Piece by sure. piece right. out of Wubu does that, right? Pretty yeah, 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 they do. Yeah, no, yeah. But you're right, some uh, the older they homes... They don't move the piano piece by piece. That means you've got to... Broken piano. I, I hope not. That's, a, that's I have, just a busted piano. But yeah. you must get that where someone, uh, it's on the second floor. They've done an addition since then. And oh, yeah. It's, it's like, you know, yeah, that's captured on the second floor. You, you're going out the windows for that? Yes. You know, cranes and things like that. Really? That's very infrequent. I think yeah. at one point we craned a hot tub out of like a skylight one time. But wow. that's With very With the guy in it. Yeah. <laughs> just He's sell just him the hot out. tub. <laughs> didn't, <laughs> spill it, didn't spill a truck. <laughs> Leave the hot tub in the house. Hot, tubs, the hot tub, pool tables, and um, pianos are the things that people want to leave behind these yeah, days. Yeah, they don't want yeah. them. Well, they pool tables, once you dismantle that, yeah. it costs X amount of dollars to put it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. And then never, right. never even again. Then never even again. And who no. plays no. pool uh, yeah, right, in right. the house? They just go to a... I do. <laughs> oh, you do? No, you don't. Of course I do. You do? Sure. Do you have a pool table? <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> Three? <laughs> He's, four, lying. Five. Four, He's five. lying. He's lying. He's <laughs> lying. You're just being a contrarian, no, no, as they say. No, no. You have a pool My table. My son, no. Oh, we did. My son just bought his own cue. So oh, okay. so you yeah. guys go and so play, we play pool. Yeah, but okay. so you go out and play pool, yes, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't, how is your son doing? I know, I know, I know. We're, we're sidestepping this, and this, I'm very impressed because 14 minutes up, we haven't really derailed ourselves at all. But your son's doing good. He's fine. Yeah, he's yeah, out yeah. doing. Jimmy the, Dunn Jimmy. was out. Miss, um, uh, they went to Malibu and hung out and wow. uh, ate because that's what you do when you're with Jimmy Dunn. Yeah, so yeah. He looked in on him, and he seems. To, I talked to him Sunday. He's fine. Good. Is he doing the Jimmy Kimmel show yet? He's, he's working on the Jimmy Kimmel show. Right, But right, he's right. not been booked on it yet. Okay. I'm guessing that we're going to hear if he gets booked on it. I'm oh, you guessing will know. you will sure, tell us, sure. right? Well, so, sure. Because we're, we're on the inside track with yeah, Tony V. So, of course. Yep. So, Ed Sullivan, you can note that 
15 minutes in was the first time oh. we derailed it. No, because I think, we actually do like this information. You know what's no, really this boring? Is, this is, is real fresh. estate. Yeah. I love Yeah, this is fresh. Them. And it's a new take on what we do, which right. is help the people. That's what we're here for, Dan. Right. Yeah. People help. And you're our first person in two years that we're trying to help people. <laughs> you know, Dan, we move information. <laughs> That's right. So, all right. <laughs> it's a little easier than what we do, but I'll give it to you. So, Dan, I have other questions sure. for you. So, yeah, please. So, it was nice of you to put those together. I know. That was very nice. So, this is my own personal question so like so when you're going to go into my kitchen and pack up my kitchen sure are you packing up the all the food and all that stuff or what are you doing so Tell me what you're doing we're packing up everything the one thing i do say that we're not great at is knowing what's important to you and what isn't so we pack everything like you really care about it so oh, when you good answer <laughs> no that's good no but the point is when things are in your kitchen we're going to pack it right. um and so when you have your perishables and stuff like that those are things that as you're getting towards a move, you're going to want to pare down, right. pitch, things like that. On the move day, we can bring a cooler. Or sometimes people just pack up their refrigerator like they're going to the grocery store. Everyone's got plastic bags now, yeah. and things like, reusable yeah. bags, and put them in your car and go. But when we pack kitchen, everything's getting packed up. Okay. Now, most people should probably um, try to get rid of most of the food. And we've had this. Yeah. One broker told us this. They told their sellers to try to you know, drink most of the liquor yeah. beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> I had no Which problem with that. Well, that's it. Kathy came right over. <laughs> Do you guys need that must any help? Been, that must have been a hard sell. She brought a couple of these mugs and uh, just said, what can I do to help you to move? But but is that true? You want people to try to pare it down as much yeah, as possible. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you don't want to be moving 10 boxes of like liquid soy sauce and like <laughs> right. vegetable oils. Yeah, right, like yeah. this is your opportunity, right? To you not ever, bring that stuff You ever along. moved a... Uh, a filled water bed? A filled? No, you didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> Those water beds are so high. I have. Are you still in it I at have. this point? Yeah. There's no way. I mean, <laughs> do they even sell water beds anymore? Sure, they do. They're very, they're very popular. They are. Yeah, they good. They've for changed them a lot, though. Yeah, no, right. it's not. Yeah. It, it's not like the uh, than, like you're on the ocean yeah, anymore, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just a just a bag of water. Right. Now they have sides and whatnot. <laughs> oh, I, to, I, have I haven't to, heard of water bed in. Many, many oh, years. I know a lot of people with water. Beer. Really? Yeah. I've seen two. <laughs> One was a guy who had ditched an apartment in Boston and he was dead. I got a lot of oh. shoes off that job. He used the same shoe size as me. Wait, 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 wait. He was dead? Yes. The guy died. Yes. So somebody caused you to move his stuff. Yes. And you kept his shoes. <laughs> there was like so much stuff there that didn't need to be kept. And I like how Dan's trying to explain it wow. away. Wow. That's like, it, a, that's like a Dickens tale. <laughs> what else do you keep out of it? Uh, he, didn't, he didn't need those gold coins anymore now, did he? <laughs> It wasn't much like that, but that he had a uh, he's water bed. He's dead. Yeah. He's dead. <laughs> he is that the rule in the moving company? If they're dead, you get to keep everything. <laughs> no, but it's the uh, sad truth that you can see is that once you go, a lot of the stuff you, you think no, you're you right. want, you yeah. don't need, and people right. don't oh, want it. Sure, he's so. dead. He doesn't need these fillings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you must go home. We don't eat. move dead bodies out of apartments. It's, <laughs> you must oh, shake your head at what, no, what people actually things. value for, for oh, sometimes, um, material yeah. items and what they actually are spending money to Anyone move? have some neat memorabilia out there that you've seen? We moved a guy that had a lot of, like, you know... Tom Brady, sign, you know, balls and signature yeah. things like that. Was yeah. it Rick Carter's house? <laughs> Ricky Carter's got a, quite a, a lot of stuff. Oh, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, things man. like that. Memorabilia stuff. Yeah. Nothing crazy. The yeah. ink on all the autographs he has <laughs> would fill a waterbed. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, you you a need a Tom ink. Brady? That's Here a lot. you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, when, we, when my mother-in-law passed away, we were cleaning out her house to get ready to go. And we ended up with these two great guys from Southie doing, it was just two guys yeah. in a truck or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And my wife was, was there with them. And he goes, you know, ma'am, you probably don't want to be here for this because, uh, you know, this is a lot of your memories and everything, but it's just shit to us. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, that really, that, that really sums it up, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> no, that's a good point. With these two guys, Jim, we should probably watch out for them and tell some, some of our others. So they might not have been licensed quite the way uh, I think Dan. Oh, I, it doesn't sound that way. <laughs> Boy, do you you guys can jump the conclusion. <laughs> well, you have to 
have insurance, right? Yes, so of course. Sort of like we just paid them all. We just paid them all. <laughs> yeah, very expensive. This week. Yeah. And if something gets broken, um, they have to file a claim with you and then you file a claim with their, your insurance company? Or how does that work? So there's three different forms of insurance that you want all moving companies to have. One is all their employees W-2'd, covered under their workman's compensation. That's yeah. a good point. A good point. Um, yeah. You know, that I never, you know... Injuries don't happen often. In fact, the few that we've had are people packing like knives into a box and like <laughs> right. sticking out. Right. But you know um, what? Stupidity, that's called, right? That's just called thin in the herd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have your. Now, um, do you have people asking you on that though? Do they? Yeah, some do. They'll ask you it's, how how much you're insured. Yes, uh, and any building that we go into in Boston requires us to provide a certificate of that insurance. Okay. It, you know, the general aggregate policy is the the actual physical house or apartment complex, that's up to $5 million. I've only heard one time, and this may be an, a, a tale that didn't really happen as a mover. Well, that's what we're here for. Nick, they, uh, <laughs> we don't sprinkler, go by facts. A sprinkler no. and, it went off, and it went off. Yeah. And you can imagine that's, sure. that's big time. Sure. So we're insured for, you know, the 0001 percent chance something like that happens. Yeah, yeah. moving wet stuff is way <laughs> harder. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're going to be moving everybody's wet sure, stuff out yeah. of that building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure they didn't call that mover okay. that did that if that actually happened. Not only is it is it heavy, it's moist. <laughs> there he goes. He's I, I was letting word. it go. I, <laughs> they, they say the words that aggravate me. Yeah. Oh, that's what this is going on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. All right. So you, and other then, insurances. And yeah. the third tier of that insurance is your items while they're in our care. Yeah. And so all movers are required by law to have a base level of insurance. This gets a little bit complicated. Right. The best way I've ever understood to explain it succinctly is that when we go from home to home, the value of people's items are so different. One person in the same exact sized home could have $30,000 worth of stuff. Somebody could have $130,000 right. worth of stuff. So the moving industry standardizes it by giving you a weight-based coverage. It weighs the furniture. It multiplies it by 60 cents, and that's the value of that furniture baseline. So if you're moving oh, a 200-pound so dresser... It's yeah. $120 insurance to towards move. that. Oh, I see. If anything were to happen to that, a nick or the entire thing evaporates in the mover's hands. You'd get $120 <laughs> uh -huh. base level. Okay. That's free. That's included in our hourly rate. But then if you wanted the full value replacement of your items, you'd essentially place a value as I described, whether it's $15,000 or $115,000. Okay. And based on that value, you'd have, pay an additional premium to get the full value. The reason is, if we were to put it into our hourly rate, the people with less expensive stuff would be subsidizing the people with more expensive stuff. And right. Yeah. Nobody yeah. wants to do that. Right. right. We, should right. Do, we should do that with people. Oh, Ed, Ed has a question. Yeah. So what if, let's say you've got a priceless item. Let's, sure. As an example. Yep. And it sounds like something out of Ed's <laughs> house. Hypothetical. <laughs> an umbrella that was actually used on an episode of Seinfeld. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah but, I, but who would ever have something would, like that? How would you value things, right? Because people may think, for example, oh, this is priceless. Yeah. But it's an umbrella. Sure. So if, if that were lost... Mm -hmm. How does the compensation work on that? Well, you so, should put it in your car and take it yourself. Something like that, like a very unique item like that, or a piece, I'd, I can, I'd liken that to a piece of artwork, right? right. That's, mm -hmm. sure. you know, it's worth $100,000, but to you and I, we look at it and say, I, I wouldn't pay $10 for that. Right. So, something to that effect. There's a list, uh, uh, a list that you can create before the move that's right. declaration of items of extraordinary value. And so you'd put Seinfeld umbrella... Yeah. You paid thirty thousand dollars for it at an auction, or it's worth that. We'd probably, you know, just to know that is all the move. Like an umbrella is less concerning. It'd be hard to break that. You know, some Fabergé egg. I don't know. That's a little right. bit more delicate. But okay, Tony, you just did you get all that? I did get <laughs> okay. all that. Thank you. Tony has one, they so that's why he's asking. They just sent me fifty-three dollars, by the way. How long's that for? Though? What period does that run? Thirteen last thirteen weeks, whatever that wow. is. That's fifty-two dollars, fifty-three and oh, change. Oh, nice! No nice. wonder you're sitting pretty. Yeah, all I just got a check from uh, Celtic Pride for seven cents. Oh, <laughs> hey, they add up. They do. <laughs> <laughs> Not as quickly as I would wish. <laughs> you know, I, I think that's how we should pay people. Is weigh them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. like that's what you're worth yeah. is. It's you weigh yourself and then times 
60 cents. <laughs> so if for that's hours? What, I no, would for, love for that because I'm just going to go keep eating yeah, yeah. and eating and eating. Yeah. So if we do that for closing, so if yeah. we have a closing family that's bigger than the other yeah, one, we yeah. charge more, more attorney's fees. Yeah. Is you, that what you're you, thinking? You, you right. charge by the pound. You oh, might be onto something. Might be onto something there. Yeah. I like that. I actually, I, I weigh always, more than everyone at this table, so <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I always think they should do that for uh, for the races, like half marathons. They usually do it right. by age. You know, if you're a 60 year old over the first, they should definitely do it by weight. Handicap you by weight. Right, well, they right, do. Right. There's some like it, when you get up into the. Um, Iron Man triathlons and stuff like that. Like box. None of them are fat. No, they have an Athena group. Is that what they call, they call what them? Is that? The Athena group? The Athena group. Yeah. It's if you weigh over oh, really? 200 pounds. Yeah. And, all right. And But believe it or not, it's a big group. But What's, the thing is, if you... I'll bet it is you, a big group. It's a huge group. <laughs> That's why you, they made the rule. But if you win, if yeah. you're the, the best... You're, you're the best group, Athena. If you're the best Athena, yeah. you win money or stuff oh, like that. All so, right. so they do do that. Yeah. That's great. Right. For, right. So every time we sign up for a half marathon, I'm looking for the <laughs> Athena group. Because <laughs> Rick, for mountain biking, they've got a Clydesdale. Yeah, Clydesdale. Oh, they do. Over yeah. 200 pounds. Yeah. Okay. It's a different all right. division. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right. So I think we should do that for closings. Sure. <laughs> See a big family coming what about, in. <laughs> what about our friend that had the white the white cap? <laughs> oh, I know the poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'd always so, want to see a marathon runner run with enough weight that would account for me. It'd be yeah. over 150 pounds strapped saw, to him. See how fast he can so run we that. Can carry it. Yeah, right. I just right. saw a woman. Um, I want to say she weighed 380 pounds, and she actually she's in the she's applied to the um, Guinness Book of World Records as the heaviest person to complete a marathon. Really? Nice. Yes. It took her like... Um, <laughs> She's still running it. She hasn't finished yet. 18 hours. Sure. But she they got did. her in the book by the time she finished, right? <laughs> she, she definitely... <laughs> she three did it. 380, 380 pounds? Yes. Wow. Listen, if you have to time your run, your race with a calendar, <laughs> it I might actually, not be your thing. I actually was pretty proud of her, but um, no, can you but, imagine? Yes, it's great. 380 pounds running all that? Sure. It's yeah. like moving a waterbed. I yeah. Know. One of my best friends, I went to college with him. He was 440 pounds. Big man. Lost weight and ran, or not ran, but did the marathon. Really? Uh, Jacob Salheimer Good was for his him. name. Yeah. What did, how, how much did, weight did he lose? Half of him? I think he lost, uh, I forget the article. Maybe he lost like 100 pounds before the marathon. So she's got him beat. Wow. Yeah. 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 But he, only 100? He ran it at. 380? 330, Three, I think. Wow. Yeah, 330, Listen, my son is probably one of the m most fit people you would ever meet, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. He yeah. eats healthy. He exercises every day. He ran the Mar Boston Marathon last year and he struggled. And he trained. He yeah. struggled. I mean, that is it's not, not a... natural to run twenty six no, miles right. for right. any you're right. reason, you're right. unless right. your ass is yeah. on fire. I mean, he did a great job, but he, he yeah, he, he sure. it was a it was a different thing, of course different it is. animal. And they say up to a point, you know, I mean, the farthest I've ever raced, I, I've done a half marathon. Yeah, in my, Have in you? my time. Yeah, I ran from Lexington to Cambridge. Okay. It's mostly downhill. Because they're chasing you. Yes. I had to. <laughs> did, did, Tony, did you yell the British are coming? I did. <laughs> you're, you're, you're just leaving a fleet bank at the yeah, same time? Yeah, no. <laughs> Happen to be leaving a fleet bank. <laughs> Talk about heavy. You, you run with a money bag that's about to explode <laughs> at any minute. Uh, All right. Then. All right. The it's winner's a the blue guy. <laughs> 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 the blue man group, right? Speaking of you the exploding it. bag, did yeah. you guys hear that, that there was like a, you know how they do the gender reveals now? Like you, oh yeah, yeah the cake yeah. exploded. That something is, yeah, it was it the cake? They made a cake. From what I understand, they made a cake that had a device in it that would spray confetti Either when blue cut. or pink. And I think this they doesn't put, sound like it ended well. They, no, somebody died. Somebody right? died. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. What happened? They so. were scraping frosting off them. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not funny. But no, the, it my point is, no, it's funny. They Again, take, it's called the getting the herd. <laughs> they take this gender reveal, which yeah. wasn't, didn't happen 25 years ago. No, no, no. Because no. you didn't know. if I was having a boy or a girl. You just, and, yeah, you just wanted the damn thing out of you. But, but now they have the d different exploding <laughs> devices, right? Yeah. And the cake. Exploded and yeah, killed a 57 yeah. year old woman. Wow. It yeah. was probably the grandmother. 45 wow. feet away or something. Yeah. It wasn't wow. like she was. Staring I want at the, the cake. first piece of cake. <laughs> All right, grandma. 
<laughs> yeah, that's your wish just, is push that, in. just push that plunger. <laughs> <laughs> Aim it over here. It's not it's funny. Not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Uh, How Eddie, do we laugh Eddie, about Eddie, Any statement that ends with it, it's not <laughs> funny. Funniest it's way. probably funny. Mmm, cake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, 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 I just have, love I cake. It yeah. I, I just it love cake. <laughs> so listen. Boom. So, wouldn't happen with pie. Would not this happen with do. pie. So, Dan. Uh-oh, she's having her own show now. No. Uh, she's having her own show we again. Only, we no, only we have might a couple, have to. No, no. We, couple, couple more minutes well, Dan, left. Dan, Dan, right. Dan should come back. I like if, him. Everyone everyone that's watching is either going to sell a house or buy a house. Sure. Or, or, or not. They're going to move. Or move. So or why die. We, Except so, for the girl well, with the shut, cake. Shut up, you well, two. So just stating the obvious. Can you give give our audience three um, cool tips? Yeah, I mean, I'd always say when it we were you talking. See how she does that. She actually she actually yeah. reverses Shut and up. boxes she, us out. She turned her back to <laughs> us. You see how she does sure. that? Oh, shut up. Poor right, skill. So it's a great question. <laughs> three phenomenal tips. Call moving companies and have them come out to the home. Oh. Unless it's a one bedroom apartment that has a definitive, defined amount of things that you're moving. There are things that you've lived among that you forget that are there that we notice that we know are going to take a little bit longer. So, like massive mirrors that are yeah, they're just the like things that you're not thinking about. Have the person out to your house. The things and times where a move can go poorly is you did it over the phone. Some guy told you it's two guys for three hours, and it's four guys for nine hours. Right. Movers charge for the time that the move takes, so it's an unpleasant situation for everyone to be involved in. When you don't have somebody out to the house, you misunderstand what the move is going to take, and all of a sudden, it's a more expensive, a more time-consuming process than you thought. Have movers help pack at least the fragiles. People can go through linen closets and things like that and make sure that those things are all squared away and they're pretty easy to pack. But the fragiles are things that movers pack each and every day. Again, it's probably something that if you undertook yourself, it's going to take you all weekend. You may not even do it properly and you'll probably spend three or four trips to some place trying to get materials, trying to get it all done. And the last one is when you finally select a mover, um, make sure that you're, um, well, I don't know. I have two. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. You can have as many. All right. Oh, no. So I was just going to say that at the end of the day, when you're talking about finding a high quality mover, once you have them out to the home, have three out and don't pick the cheapest company out there. A cost of the move and in the cost of their hourly rate is a direct reflection on how they're paying their men. It's certainly not 70% Ed and me, you know, <laughs> going home to the bank every day, counting money. It's the, how you're paying your guys. Okay. That's they, a good point. That's a good point. You know, and if you pay for good yeah, hope you get good help. That's right. 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 You know, right. We're you know we're paying our guys twenty five thirty dollars per hour that, for a reason to make great. sure that they don't break. They're shit. energetic. That they can. And moving is something when you find somebody that does it day in and day out. They are a unique person. Right. These guys are excellent. They can run circles around me and. You know, moving, I coached one year, and when you tell kids to run sprints, you don't realize how hard it is when they're actually just running back and forth. It's the same with moving. You're like, oh, this, I could have done this. And no. by no, yeah, hour yeah, four, no. you're done. No. And yeah. by hour six, and you're not even out of your first part of the half, half of the move not done yet, you're in trouble. Right. You know what I mean? And these guys. They are a unique group. Yeah, they're a unique group. They're in excellent shape. Our guys are absolutely phenomenal. I moved, I, I moved once and I had uh, three guys in, uh, and we had a refrigerator. Yep. The one guy threw the refrigerator on his back and told the other two to strap it on. <laughs> and, yeah, he, and he moved that. the thing himself. Sure. I said, you need any help? I mean, he says, nope, just threw and it on Rick's his back. just sitting there eating popcorn, watching all his friends moving. <laughs> sure. Oh, yeah, they weren't they weren't professionals. They were just like <laughs> three friends. And might I add, if you're going to leave the children in the truck overnight, bubble wrap them. <laughs> yeah. Or, no, but he said that they poke holes. Oh, they poke holes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. All right. So, all right. Well, that's yeah, great. Yeah, plastic around a kid's yeah, face. face. I yeah, don't you know. Can tell oh, yeah. Next yeah, time yeah. He's on. Oh, yeah. You don't want to shrink wrap them. <laughs> no, yeah. no. Oh, no. You can tell Dan off the air about the bubble ball for the elderly. Bubble we'll ball talk for about the, that. I that, think he would go for that. He might go I, it. Maybe I actually sh- think that you should come back because I love this, this okay. part no, good. Of, of what we do. I mean, we do the real estate end yeah. of it, but I love all the other information that we can give to our clients to help them have a better, a better experience, experience. Overall yeah, experience. Anytime. Dan, you want to give your phone number out? Yes. It's my... 
the office number is 617-515-9886, but my cell is 617 617- don't do, that. <laughs> don't do that! Don't do that! <laughs> don't do it! Don't do it! That shows he really like the right, show. Go, go ahead. ahead. 617 999 2922. You can call me anytime. Anytime. That's Perfect. awesome. You're going to get good. lunatics calling. Peace I got a dead cat. Will you move it? <laughs> <laughs> well, we really Thank appreciate you, you coming on. Yeah. My pleasure. It was a great show. Yeah. My pleasure. Piece by piece out of Woobin, right? Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. nice people. That's, That's good. awesome. Thanks, Dan. They know Thank what you. they're doing. Thank All right. Kathy Holtz, paralegal extraordinaire. Tony V, comedian extraordinaire. Yes. And now we have a professional mover extraordinaire. This is great. Huh? This is awesome. Great Thanks show. for joining us as a real estate house party. Ed Sullivan. Thanks, Ed. Thank you again. We'll see you next week. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.